don't worry about those clowns because we have got a guest tonight that is going to rock your socks. I'm talking about the big man with the tan. It is Hulk Hogan in the studio. The big Hulkster, how are you? What's up, big brother? You know, there's so many Australian Hulkamaniacs out there. I'm afraid the walls are going to rumble and fall in this place. I can't wait to make you quit your job, team up with me, because we're taking over Australia November, brother. With guns like yours and mine, we will be doing that without a problem. This is Hulk Hogan. We will be back in a minute. This is Thursday Night Live with the Hulk. High five. Big work, and we've searched everywhere for someone tough enough to deal with Mark Howard. Well, we think we've got just the man, but we'd also like to know how he feels about coaches slapping players too. Would you please welcome back to the show Hulk Hogan, ladies and gentlemen. Brother, I mean, you know, <clears throat> I mean, are you kidding me? These are real men. They're out there fighting. No pads, no helmets. They're going one on one. Are you kidding me? A little teeny slap <laughs> makes all this media in Australia. I mean, we should. They shouldn't have said a word about it. That should have been mano mano in the back room taking care of business. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? If I gave you a little tiny slap, you think it'd make much media or brother, not? if you gave me a sla little slap, I'd hulk up, brother. <laughs> I mean, that would light me up. Maybe they'd even play harder if you slap everybody on the team. Yeah, oh, let's good get... God, are you kidding me? Let's this get... is like the American crap I'm used to seeing. Let's get to brass tacks. You're I'm out ready. here. You're a single man now. Are you on the lookout <laughs> for the ladies? Brother, she has to cook. And she has to have a big smile on her face. That's it. <laughs> you know what my main priority? It's Hulkamania in Australia, brother. Can you handle that? I can handle it. Tell us about it. It's going to be massive. It's going the first time you're in Australia. Look at just the punters lined up for you. Hulkmania is going to be massive. It's unbelievable because for 25 years, these fans have been loyal. You know, they've seen me wrestle. They've seen my daughter show Brooke Knows Best in Australia. Love it. Love Brooke they've Knows seen Best. Hulk Knows Best, and I've never had a chance to come here. Several of the big wrestling organizations have kind of like advertised I was coming, and it was false advertisement. They never told me, but that's why I'm here. I'm here early to let everyone know at the end of November, Hulkamania is coming to Australia, and I, get, I'm, I have the opportunity to face Ric Flair. I mean, Hogan, woo. Ric Flair, yeah. woo! It's like the main <laughs> event heard around the world. Hulk, we're going to get back to you shortly. I know you like your sports highlights. The Hulk will be with us for plenty of time yet, but I'm just going to run you through the sporting highlights of the week, the players of the week, see if you enjoy this big Hulky. They have prize money for the entire event, over 400,000 US dollars. Hulky, Ooh. that's a week in sport. Good God, brother. Good God, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Howie. Well, after all that, I'm supposed to get all uptight about Serena Williams and her filthy display of sportsmanship, which was reasonably appalling. I can't believe she got uh, fined 10 grand, one 400. She would go and drop 10 grand in Louis Vuitton after winning. So it's, it's, it's a slap on the wrist. It's absolutely nothing. But it did lead us to think about great dummy spits of all time. Billy Woods, the newsreader's dummy spit? Uh, yeah, I don't, don't public, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there are a few people out there who've seen me in action. Um... I don't believe you for a second. <laughs> One person who would know about the dummy spit is Hulk. Hulk, how, what did you think of Serena's dummy spit? World class? Not good enough? Uh, it's kind of uh, reminding you, it's like very WWE-ish, getting out of line, getting upset. I was surprised how she overreacted. I mean, they yeah. won the doubles championship mm -hmm. afterwards. <laughs> You know, her and her sister split the money anyway. Yeah, that's right. What should they have done, Hulk? Should they have given her a bit of a suspension, maybe suspend her from a grand slam? Man, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm surprised by her actions. She's been such a pro, so graceful, that this outburst came out of nowhere. She wins all the time anyway, you know. Maybe she should let someone win once in a while like they do in wrestling, you know. <laughs> Yeah. It was one thing getting mad, but she was threatening, which is a bit weird. I would have just loved it if that little lines woman got up and bitch slapped her. Now, that would have been really <laughs> finished. Hey, did she just say bitch slap? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she could be in Hulkamania. Look out. <laughs> Oh, I'm retired now. I could be in Hulkamania. Now, that led us to look for, you know, other good outbursts. And, Hulk, I want your opinion on these outbursts. I mean, Jeff Tarango, not only did he have a, a dummy spit here, but his wife went and later slapped an official. So tennis seems to breed people who are idiots, really. Unbelievable. Yeah. So, Jeff, doesn't, Jeff doesn't have class like McEnroe, you know. McEnroe had classy well, we'll outbursts. And Jeff's and it's probably low rent. No surprise that two of the dummy spits yeah. are tennis. Yeah. 
Now, this is Didier Drogba in the Champions League final this year. He absolutely went off his head, not, went off his head to the camera as well as going off his head at the referee. You can see Aussie Goose saying, ah, fella, that's enough, mate. It's time to go. Oh, but I think you've got three yellow cards here, but this person has to take the cake. Do you know, have, Hulk, have you met John McEnroe? Yeah, I have, but I'm still overwhelmed that Britney Spears with a pink wig won the surfing championship. <laughs> Uh, that's uh, that's all right, Hulk. That won't get back. Yeah. Now, uh, I reckon it was John's tight shorts. It never occurred to me, but back in those days, that was it was the shorts that made him like that. Well, another sport that's really renowned for tight shorts is our own AFL. And we've, we've looked around the world, obviously, globally for who's dummy spits. Someone sitting right here who's going <laughs> off his head. What was that about, Lukey? Oh, well, it was about a little pathetic man in orange who uh, <laughs> is a little wimp and he got it wrong <laughs> and... Uh, I was wronged. That was all. <laughs> so just a little bit of a dummy spit hog. That's all right, isn't it? To get upset an umpire every now and then. You guys don't know the word sportsmanship, do you, in this country? <laughs> uh, it's not one of our strong suits. No, as long as, it, as long as it's combined with winning, then we're all happy. But Hulk, have you? We've got a little photo of you as a youngster. I can't believe you turned into such an angry oh, man. Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of scary. I had I had hair back then. Well, oh, no, don't say that. When I met you earlier tonight, you did tell me to call you Hulka Hulka Burning Love because you're single. That's right. I mean, you started saying Hulky or Hulka, and then I went Hulka Hulka Burning Love. Yeah, well, you're right. Well, can you can you? Co oh, you're married. I see that ring on your finger. Yeah. It's all right. My husband's not that big. What do you want to say? <laughs> well, yeah. Hang on. Good evening to, uh, to Matt, uh, Liz's yeah. uh, husband. Oh, you uh, always bring him up. Matt, Liz could time. be a little late tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't mind up, Matt. Anywho, now, Warwick, I don't know, Hulk, if you've heard of Warwick Kappa. No? That's OK. That's all right. No, most people haven't. Neither is Warwick. We, went... <laughs> <laughs> hey, we went to Warwick Kappa this week and asked him about great sporting dummy spits. Um, he's got a little bit of a philo philosophy, philosophical take on it. Kappa. Some more comedy gold there from Warwick Kaffer, and I can't believe he was off our televisions for so long. I'm so happy he's back. Now, Hulk... <laughs> Sympathise. Yeah, thank you. Warren and gay athletes should have equal rights. <laughs> 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 oh, that is outstanding. Now, Hulk, are you into netball? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Correct. <laughs> Correct answer. OK. You will the, be in a minute. You will be in a second. The Australians... <laughs> Beat the, beat the Dirty Kiwis this week by three goals. They won the game and they won the fight. Now, Hulk, I want to get your opinion on some of these big body slams and is netball now your favourite sport after seeing a little bit of this vision? Well, any of those women can wrestle on the Hulkamania tour. That's <laughs> without a doubt. They're not bad, are they? So the Australians won the game as well as winning the fight. We won the game 36 to 33 and there were some really big hits. It's Julie Corletto falling all over the top of... Uh, just, Laura Langman, I'm so happy to see the New Zealand girls go down first. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, let's go to yes. Mark Howard getting We're slammed. We're leaving that one. <laughs> this is Mark Howard's attempt Anyone at wrestling. Over the age of 16 can have a go, but sadly what these guys do, it isn't fake. Oh. Mark Howard, 10 news. Hulk, surely you do not want Mark Howard in Hulkamania. It doesn't work. I think Come on, mate. Howie Mania is running wild yeah, now. Yeah, Howie Mania. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, you've seen Howie wrestle. What about our other panellist here, Luke Darcy? Now, he's, he's OK, he's OK in the wrestle. I was winning here, wasn't I, Hulk? That was... Uh... Oh, you copped yeah, cop the little no, I had him covered. right I had slab. Him covered. And Darcy not appreciating had John O. Brown covered there. Yeah. No problems <laughs> at all. Couldn't have run away quicker. You were moving backwards very skillfully, Darcy. <laughs> now, that is little Shane Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> who hit me in the nuts, the dirty little... <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, he had to reach up to that, do it. Oh, that is one thing in wrestling. Don't go for the uh, crown jewels, do you? Well, I like the eye shots, uh, and, you know, you definitely can handle the low blows, so <laughs> you're, you definitely are a candidate. I'm ready to go, Hulk. You've got the youth. <laughs> <laughs> Hulk, I don't know if you realise this, you actually have been nominated to play for St George this weekend. Let's see how you were nominated. Because we've got a lot of big game players. Israel Folau's playing well. Lockyer, Dave Taylor. I'm not sure who we're going to put on him. Probably Hulk Hogan or somebody. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
<laughs> Hulky, this is the guy you've got to stop. He's nothing. Do you reckon you can stop him? Just wait till you see his, this front-on shot of him running. He's I only don't... 19, too.